We're seeing very abundant organisms. So they're microscopic organisms. They're single-celled, they're called dinoflagellates. They're common members of the coastal plankton community. They become really abundant during these events. So during the day, the water is discolored and can look kind of reddish or brownish, hence the term red tide because of the discolor of the wash, water because there's so many organisms present. And then at night, if they're bioluminescent, you get these incredible, beautiful displays of bioluminescence. In nature, the bioluminescence is used as a predator avoidance behavior. In the case where they're grabbed by a predator, then the force of the grabbing will stimulate them to produce flashes of light. And that light acts to scare or startle the predator. So whether that force is produced by a predator grabbing them or a wave breaking, it triggers the light. So we can't predict when they're going to occur or how long they'll last, but we know that they've been going on for a while. Sampling and monitoring these red tide events since 1900. So since then, there's been at least a couple of dozen major events. And this one is pretty spectacular. That it extends from Baja, California, all the way up into the Los Angeles region. There are red tide events in other parts of the world that are harmful in that the organisms contain compounds that can act as a toxin. So fortunately, the organisms that are abundant here in Southern California are not toxic. And then it's your personal choice if you actually want to go in and surf in it or swim in it.